Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Fresh meat. Yo guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about the newest addition to the hero's roster and one of the scariest assassins in the game, the Butcher. Quick recap lang. The Butcher is a melee assassin, scary amounts of potential damage kung maganda yung positioning niya at saka pag-complete yung stacks, pero super lambot niya at madali siyang ma-burst down. Okay, so let's talk about talent builds. Yung build natin ngayon is more on the tanky side because mas maganda pag may konti kang survival at saka sustain to stay in lane more and para makastay ka sa team fights. Pero of course, with your kit, maganda pa rin naman yung assassination potential mo. For level 1, kukunin natin yung Victus. Binibigay niya yung 3% healing every time nakakakuha ka ng fresh meat. Maganda siyang sustain kasi hindi mo kailangan umalis sa lane as much. Keeps you topped up kahit umiikot ka ng mga lanes at nagagang. And of course, more importantly, it keeps you alive during team fights, especially pag nakakapatay ka ng mga enemy heroes. For level 4, we go with Unrelenting Pursuit. Maganda siya kasi pinapababa niya yung cooldown between initiations and assassinations mo. Hindi mo kailangan maghintay ng matagal between assassinations. Remember, as Butcher, ikaw yung assassin ng team. Kailangan nag-iikot ka and lagi kang proactive para ma-make full use mo yung skills ni Butcher. For level 7, I go with Abattoir or Abattoir. Pinapalakas niya yung damage mo kasi tumataas yung maximum stacks mo from 20 to 35. And then magsasynergize siya later with Blood Frenzy. And syempre, mas mapabawasan yung punishment pag namamatay ka kasi kalahati na lang yung mawawala sa fresh meat stacks mo. Of course, hindi naman natin i-recommend ng namamatay. Pero you know, just in case, hindi ka as punished for your mistakes. Haha, <laughs> now for our meat and potatoes. Kung may nakakawala pa sa'yo before level 10, sure kill ka na with Lamb to the Slaughter. Isolation skill siya, pang trap ng mga tatak ko para hindi makatakas. With proper follow-up with your team, instant delete button to for any single enemy hero. Maybe even Joanna. For level 13, we go with Car Flesh. Maganda to as sustain and DPS. Kung cooldown pa yung Lamb to the Slaughter mo, pwede mo siyang gamitin pang chase para ma-ensure mo na mapapatay mo yung enemy hero. Tsaka syempre, may konti ka na rin heal kasi pinapatay mo yung may Mark of the Butcher. A level 16, kukunin natin ng Blood Frenzy. Kasama ng Abattoir at tsaka pag max tax ka, you get 35% more attack speed. Nakakatakot na yung DPS niya at tsaka yung heals mo kung kailangan mo. With this, hindi ka na halos mamamatay kahit i-focus fire ka ng kabilang team as long as meron kang Mark of the Butcher sa isa sa kanila at tsaka nahahampas mo. Finally, we go to the level 20 talent which is Slaughterhouse. Wala na tayong dapat sabihin pa dito. Yung level 10 heroic mo, makukuha na yung buong team. Aba, subukan na lang nila magtikit-tikit, ba? Good luck na lang sa kanila. Okay guys, yun yung mga talents na ginagamit ko. Let's go in-game for some tips about the Butcher. Okay, so sa early game, wala ka pa masyadong damage and you really have to focus on getting those fresh meat stacks. Otherwise, yung damage mo nga is not gonna be enough to assassinate anyone. So, okay lang naman mag-try mag-assassinate at sumugod. But, you need proper support at least at the start. Si Butcher, isa siya sa mga pinakamagagandang heroes na mag-sneak out at kumuha ng mercenaries mag-isa. Hindi mo yung expect pero gamitin mo yung W and yung Q mo na spammable and you can get mercs really really easily para pang push with your team. And remember guys, ang glam to the slaughter not necessarily solo skill yet. You can think of creative ways pwede mong gamitin with your team and you can pull off some awesome kills. One more thing guys. Kung papasok ka gamit yung Ruthless Onslaught, try mo mag-right click just in front of the enemy na tinatarget mo. That way, pagka tama mo, pwede ka pang maglakad ng konte at pwede mo siyang maposisyonal ng maayos. 
anyway guys I guess that's it thank you for watching this video I hope na may natutunan kayo tungkol kay Butcher if you have any other comments or suggestions feel free na post sa baba and I'll see you around